Hi everyone, you're welcome to another Gospel Keys Easy Tutorial and this tutorial is the first video of about four video tutorials that I will be posting for a series that I'm calling the Build Up Series. If you're new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe or if you've been watching videos on this channel and you're yet to subscribe What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? Right, so please, please subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. All right, so in this series, we will be looking into how to spice up your build up music in church. So we all know that as musicians, sometimes we're doing like a worship song, especially when the choir is doing a vamp, you know, repeating a portion of the song over and over again. So these ideas I will be showing you are going to come in very useful when you're having those build up moments. For example, we have this song Be Magnified. So I've put together a performance to really show you how this works. And for the first performance, I'm using the song Be Magnified by Don Moyne. Right, so from that performance, the song gets to a point where you need to do the vamp. Okay, so it goes like this. Okay, so that's one way to play it. Okay, now I can create the build up. Okay, so that's me doing the build up without this 4-3 move. So instead of just playing something really simple as just maybe like striking the keys harder, now you can add this 4-3-2 chord progression into the mix and just make that vamp, that build up moment sound a lot better. So this really works for a 2 chord, especially when you're going from the 6 to the 2. So we have a 6. So instead of just cycling between 6 and 2, you can add the 4-3 into the mix just to spice things up. 6, 4, 3, 2. So instead of just doing 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, you can always do 4-3, 2. So 4-3 is the root to get to the 2. And here is the chord for the 4. So we have this nice diminished chord. So playing it from the root position. So this will be B flat diminished chord. And if we extend the chord up to there, okay, B flat, C sharp, E, G, B flat. So the best way to play this, if you have a bassist, is to use this chord voicing. Okay, so here we just take this diminished chord for the 4, we just move it back by one semitone. 
and then we have the three chord. Okay, so now let's look at how you can spice up this 4 3 2 chord progression even further. So, this is one thing you can do. Okay, so you can apply this trill motion to, to the 4. So whenever you're having that build up moment, these are things you can do to really spice up your playing instead of just playing the keys harder. So you can do it harder and then you still have a nice build up, but here is something else you can do. Okay, and then for your chord 2, when you do your chord 2 like this, it sounds really good. So here we have the B flat major 7th chord over the G, which is the 2 in the key of F. So you can do this. Okay, we can also do this. So that's my 2. So left and I have F, A, B flat. Right and I have C, F, A, C. So I can do this simple one or extend all the way to C. Okay. I could also do something like this. Okay, so here we have this slide from the E flat to the E for the 4 diminished chord. So I slide with my index finger like that. So for the 3 chord, I'm sliding with my index to the middle finger. And for the chord 2, I could do this as well. I'm sliding the C to the D. Okay, and here is something else I can do as well. Okay, so here we have this octave note on my right hand and then on my left hand I'm playing the full chord. So that's the full diminished chord. Same chord but different inversion. Okay, so maybe you want to practice this first before adding the octave notes with your right hand. can even do something like that. Okay. And that really sounds good when you play it in context with the bass and other instruments going on.
Alright, so in the part two of this video, I will be showing you how to do this move with yet another song. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like the video and also please do remember to subscribe and turn on the bell. So for this video series, you can download the MIDI file for the performance. You can also download the study mode video. You can also download the backing track or play along MP3 track. Link will be in the description box below. So we've come to the end of this video. I'll see you in the part two of this video.